Hello everyone and welcome back to the sixth part uh, tutorial on this series of how to model an iPhone and I wanna again talk about uh, something that happened to me along uh, the other parts uh, I didn't notice but um, there was kind of issue with uh, uh, this face disappearing and also um, the injector uh, this little microphone hole um, have been disappeared um, actually that was okay but something went wrong with the shape of this injector and um, the microphone went I don't know where it just disappeared uh, so um, I fixed this issue and if it happened to your model too uh, um, do the same steps that are uh, required to uh, get this uh, back to well, what it was okay and I hope that this is not the case but try okay so we are going to create another cube this time and we will bring it over here and I want you to uh, make it like so and a little bit longer okay so now right click on top of this cube choose edge and choose the edges go over edit mesh bevel them and make sure the offset is set to 1 and the segments are somewhere there well, it's enough. <clears throat> okay, now tap on F8 once or twice to bring it back to object mode and make it uh, with the scale to a little bit shorter. Okay, now right, uh, choose your move tool and bring it a little bit down. Uh, it doesn't supposed to be at the middle of the iPhone so we need to bring it a little bit down somewhere here and we want to attach it just insert it a little bit inside into the iPhone like so choose the iPhone shift select the piece mesh booleans and difference now from here you zoom into see what happened okay now right click on it choose edge and choose this edge and this edge also those and tap on delete on your keyboard now right click choose face choose this face sorry only this face okay and now choose extrude click on extrude and bring it a little bit uh, sorry don't bring it out yet uh, just tap on one of those cubes and we want to create some kind of space in between so uh, it's very uh, to be very careful when you're doing this because uh, this is very hard to create this so yeah okay now <clears throat> you could create um, most of the buttons in this way but I just want to uh, give you an idea that it's cool to have separated parts and uh, later on it's always easier to uh, paint them uh, in whatever painting uh, you're going to use okay color or whatever um, okay so create another cylinder and <clears throat> make subdivision axis 50 rotate it 90 degrees or 
Okay. Um, that's um, let's add uh, let's remove the cap okay and choose this face and I want to do one time extrude in order to make it to look like a cone or something okay so yeah that's fine tap on F8 and let's make it very small okay now this part is going to be the hole that required to uh, lift this uh, SIM card draw outside okay so um, sorry I'll try to focus on it okay so you need to place it here and the space you leave in between should be uh, equal you know here and there so let's face and see how it looks okay mm, I want to use the cone area and it should be almost at the same size as this uh, draw so okay select the iPhone shift select this cylinder and boolean difference alright so with this we are done uh, another thing is to catch the lens here which we created earlier and duplicate it and move the duplicated over here let's make it bigger so we can deal with it better um, rotate it okay we need to rotate it to the other side like so so it's here it's rotating and you can see the numbers so it should be 270 and let's bring it oh I don't know why this menu is always popping out some kind of bug in my um, yeah it, it should be at the same uh, no it shouldn't let me see Okay, so somehow it's at the same, almost at the same spot that it should be, so that's good. Um, let's see. That's fine. Um, okay, um, we need to add something to the camera, so hold down the shift, right click, choose insert edge loop and sorry we need to add one more circle here and maybe uh, maybe another one I'm not sure uh, okay uh, leave it um, after you create one it's enough just catch all those faces in the loop and extrude them to about so okay so that's fine tap on F8 and now we also need to do the same here uh, insert edge loop and uh, 
let's choose this faces and extrude them sorry let's extrude them inside like so all right Alright, so after we're done, um, I'm guessing that this is it for uh, the Maya, for the iPhone uh, modeling, and at the next part we will uh, continue and add some more texture to it, so it will uh, looks like an iPhone and not just a polygonal uh, object. Okay, so um, see you at the next time at the next part of this tutorial where we will finish this and hopefully you will uh, get a kind of realistic iPhone okay so have a nice day see you soon that's it bye